हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज अ मैथ वर्कशीट फिफ्टी चैप्टर नंबर ट्वेल्व रेशियो एंड प्रोपोर्शन दिस अ न्यू चैप्टर डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेयर मास्क फॉलो फिजिकल डिस्टेंसिंग एंड मेंटेन हैंड हाइजीन वेयर मास्क वेयर मास्क प्रॉपरली फॉलो फिजिकल डिस्टेंसिंग स्टे एट लीस्ट सिक्स फीट फ्रॉम द अदर्स मेंटेन हैंड हाइजीन वॉश योर हैंड्स फ्रिक्वेंटली always with soap and water for at least 20 seconds remember do not touch your face and do not share food or drinks with others first we start from introduction in our day to day life we often come across situations where we need compare quantities in the terms of their magnitudes and measurements generally the comparison is done in two ways first by finding the difference of the magnitude of two quantities this is known as the comparison by difference second by finding the division of the magnitudes of two quantities this is known as the comparison by division first we discuss comparison by difference if here these sita and geeta are two sisters here if sita and geeta are two sisters having their weights as 50 kg and 40 kg respectively here the sita weight is 50 kg and geeta weight 40 kg then we say that sita's weight is greater then geeta's weight by 50 minus 40 kg equal to 10 kg similarly if sita's height is 150 cm and that of geeta's is 125 cm then we may say that sita is taller than geeta by 150 minus 125 cm that is by 25 cm such a comparison is known as the comparison by difference comparison by division weight of sita and geeta can also be compared by finding their division we have weight of sita equal to 50 and weight of geeta equal to 40 so here weight of sita upon weight of geeta equal to 50 upon 40 So here, fifty upon forty divided by ten. Ten five is a fifty, and ten four is a forty. So we get five upon four. So we can say that Sita's weight is five upon four times the weight of Gita. Now we have height of Sita and Gita. Sita's height equal to one hundred fifty centimeter, and Gita's height equal to one hundred twenty-five centimeter. so when we divide 150 and 125 by 25 we get 25 sixs are 150 and 25 fives are 125 so we can also say that sita's height is 6 upon 5 times that of geeta we can also say that sita is 6 upon 5 times taller than geeta such a comparison is known as comparison by division usually we use the symbol this ratio to express a ratio therefore the ratio of the weight of sita to that of geeta is written as 50 ratio 40 and read as 50 is to 40 or 50 to 40 now ratio the ratio of two quantities of the same kind and in the same units is a fraction that shows how many times the one quantity is of the other thus the ratio of two numbers a and b is a divided by b or a upon b and is denoted by a ratio b in the ratio a ratio b a is the antecedent and b is the consequent 
ratio in the simplest form ratio a ratio b is said to be in the simplest form if its and sin a and consequent b have no common factor other than 1 now students here we will solve some examples related to chapter number 12 ratio and proportion now the first example express the following in the language of ratios example number a for preparing ice cream 3 cups of milk and 1 cup of sugar is needed so here in ice cream we have amount of milk equal to 3 cups and amount of sugar equal to 1 cup so here the ratio therefore ratio of milk to sugar is 3 ratio 1 or milk and sugar are in the ratio in the ratio 3 ratio 1 Now example number B. In a school, the workload of teaching four classes has been assigned to six teachers. So here we have number of classes. Number of classes equal to four classes and number of number of teachers equal to total 6 teachers so here we write therefore ratio of the number of classes to the number of teachers is 4 ratio 6 now example number b to dilute an acid students were asked to mix acid and water in the ratio of 2 ratio 3 so here a student mix acid and water to dilute an acid so here we write the quantity of acid in the diluted acid quantity of acid in the diluted acid is 2 upon 3 of the water because here we also write ratio in the form of fraction the 2 part of acid and 3 part of water now the next example express each of the following ratios in its simplest form example number a 15 ratio 40 so here 
the given ratio is 15 ratio 40 and we also write in a fraction form 15 upon 40 we will have to find the SCF of 15 and 40 so here we divide 40 by 15 15 to the 30 10 now this divisor take place as dividend and remainder 10 take place divisor now 10 ones are 10 here 5 remainder then 10 take place here 5 to the 10 then the last divisor is the SCF of 15 and 40 so here we get SCF equal to 5 now we divide each of the ratio by the SCF of its terms 5 now 15 upon 40 divide by 5 and divide by 5 5 3 is a 15 and 5 8 is a 40 so here we get 3 upon 8 so here we write hands the simplest 15 ratio 40 is 3 ratio 8 now the next example example number B a dozen to a score so here 1 dozen equal to 12 items or score equal to or 1 score equal to 20 so here we write a dozen to a score in the ratio form 12 ratio 20 now we find the SCF of 12 and 20 so here we use long division method Twelve, twenty divided by twelve. Twelve ones are twelve. Ten minus two eight. One minus one zero. Now, twelve take place here as dividend. Now eight ones are eight. Twelve minus eight, four. Now eight take place here. Four two is eight. So here, the large divisor is the SCF of 12 and 20 so here we get SCF of 12 and 20 is 4 here now we divide 12 and 20 by 4 so here we write 12 divided by 4 and 20 divided by 4 4 3 is a 12 and 4 5 is a 20 so here we get 3 upon 5 so hence A dozen ratio a score equal to 3 ratio 5 so hence a dozen ratio a score equal to 3 ratio 5 dear students in this exercise I give some question related to our discussion so you will do all this question in your homework thank you students